Welcome inside our Golf.com studio here in New York City. I'm Jessica Marksbury, and I am delighted to be joined by U.S. Women's Open champion Michelle Wee. Michelle, congratulations Thank on you. your first major title. Has the reality of your accomplishment even sunken in yet? No, not yet. I mean, I haven't had a time to think about it. I, you know, I feel like I woke up, wake up, and it's like, is this a dream or is this real? I, I'm completely on cloud nine right now. You've had to endure a lot of criticism over the years from choosing to attend Stanford and play the tour full time uh -huh. to your putting stroke. Do you feel a sense of validation now that you've won your very first major? You know, I just, I'm just so grateful. I'm just so honored to be part of the, the U.S. Open Champion Club. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm just so grateful for everything that's happened and especially this win. Um, you know, I feel extremely lucky. How validating is it to know that you did this on your terms? This is, this is your life and you made all the decisions and, and now it's finally happened for you. Yeah, it feels great, you know, um, you know, every you know, decision I made was really my own and I feel like I'm really living the, my life how I want to live it. Um, you know, I'm having a blast. I'm having a blast playing. I had a blast playing last week. Um, you know, I'm just so lucky to be able to play golf for a living. I'm just, I'm truly lucky. You've been under the media microscope now for well over a decade. That's hard to believe. You're only 24 <laughs> years old. You look at Phil Mickelson. He mm -hmm. didn't win his first major until he was 33. Yeah. And yet people are saying, oh, it's taken Michelle Wee forever <laughs> to win this major. Do you think there have just been, the expectations have been too high for you from the time that, that you came out on tour? You know, winning a major is so gosh darn hard. <laughs> I tried. I tried really hard. Uh, you know, I got close a couple of times. Um, but, you know, I think it just, everything happens on its own time, and you can't really rush it. You can't, you know, force it. I think I was supposed to win a major now. You know, I'm happy that I had the opportunity, to, a chance to win it when I was 15. Um, you know, when I woke up on Sunday, I was just really grateful that I had another chance and another opportunity to maybe win a major. And, you know, I'm just so happy that this trophy is sitting right near next to me. Your back nine was so impressive on Sunday afternoon. What do you think was the real turning point for you? I'm looking at that eagle on number 10, <laughs> yeah. but then of course there was the double on 16 and you seemed completely unruffled by everything that was happening. Um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't, I left myself a lot of good birdie opportunities on the front nine. Just, you know, just putts just didn't drop in. And when it, when that eagle putt went on, came in on eight, you know, I, I felt extremely excited. Uh, you know, I'll take an eagle on any youth open hole. Um, but 16, I mean, uh, I was kind of laughing it off. You know, I was kind of laughing at myself while it was happening because, you know, at that point, what else can you do? <laughs> I could barely find my ball. I took an unplayable. I, you know, smashed my uh, bogey putt way behind the hole. Um, but, you know, I think, I think that's uh, that's the moment that I was really proud of myself because I could I could have handled it a lot differently at that moment I think I could have freaked out and you know doubted myself but I think I, I was so so confident in myself I it was confident in the fact that whatever happened is going to happen for a reason um, you know if I was meant to make the putt I'm gonna make the putt if it's not it doesn't happen but you know I'm just so proud of myself for you know staying in the moment and on 17 I think that was the best hole I've ever played in my entire life that was super impressive. Thank you. To follow a double with a birdie, <laughs> always a good thing. Another player that really made an impression last week, 11-year-old Lucy Lee. Uh -huh. As someone who has been there competing as a mm -hmm. young child in professional events, what, what advice do you have for her? Um, you know, I just keep having fun. I mean, it looks like she had a blast out there last week. You know, I look like, you know, even she made a double or a birdie or whatever, she just was so glad to be out there. Um, I always just say never lose that. You know, it, it's still, to this day for me, playing in the U.S. Open, I still have the wow factor. I'm here. Um, you know, when I sign in, they're like, congratulations for making it to the Open. And it really, truly is special. Um, and I really try to remember when I first played, you know, in the U.S. Open and tournaments when I was 12, 13, and that wow factor, you know, should never go away because we are extremely lucky. Having fun seems to be a big theme for you throughout this year. And it, it seems uh -huh. to be really <laughs> making your golf super great for the, at yeah. least, especially the past six months. How are you having more fun on the golf course now? Um, I think I'm just taking things a lot less seriously. Um, I think that I'm trying to take a little bit more risk. I'm, you know, just I, I think I'm just working really hard and uh, seeing hard work pay off is always fun. Um, but I'm just going out there. My caddy and I have a really great time. He's a really good friend of mine. So we just, you know, talk about non-golf and, you know, just make fun of each other. He uh, always gives me a really hard time. Um, so it's, it's fun out there. Your game is in a great place. You now have a major under your belt. Would you ever consider competing against the men again? 
You know, I, uh, a lot of people have asked me that. Um, I can never say what I'm going to do in the future because I can't even predict my next hair color. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'll, I never say never, but it's prob very unlikely. Looking ahead to the Women's British Open, you were hitting the stinger pretty well <laughs> at Pinehurst number two. A lot of people were saying that set up a lot like uh -huh. a Lynx course. What are your expectations for the Women's British Open? I'm really excited. Um, as soon as I found out that we're going back to Birkdale, it's me, my third time at Birkdale. I had a good, you know, chance to win the first time I was there. Um, you know, it's just a, it's a great golf course. It has a lot of history, just like Pinehurst. And I love going to historic golf sites like that. And uh, hopefully the weather would be good. I'm just hoping for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michelle, thank you so much. Many congratulations to you on your very first major. Michelle Wee, U.S. Women's Open Champion 2014.